Howdy, it's me, Puppy Zilla Man, Ben the Cartoon Redneck. Have y'all been watching Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur? It's a Disney Channel show based off a Marvel comic focusing on an intelligent roller skater girl living in New York City. Watch out for Spider Man, who gains superhero powers and has a pet dinosaur. It's a very colorful, funky, and action packed show with some graffiti inspired aesthetics and a barrage of bright and pretty colors that make me feel all giddy inside. Unfortunately, it was announced Disney was canceling the show after two seasons. As I write this script, the second half of season two has yet to premiere. And they're already pulling strings to not piss snowflakes off. That's right, an episode of Moon Girl has been blocked from airing due to the controversial topic of having a trans character. S -s seriously we're, we're still doing this crap surely there's got to be more to it than that right is there gore is there a sex scene not sure why disney would approve of those things but i'm stretching for reasons here let's take a look at the episode and judge for ourselves because i was someone who downloaded the episode when it got leaked whoever did that you're an angel so the episode focuses on brooklyn a trans girl playing on lunella that's moon girl's alter ego volleyball team I think it's interesting that the main character isn't an athlete in this, but the water girl, or as she puts it, hydration expert. However, when the opponent team shows up, their coach catches wind of Brooklyn being trans and tries to use her Karen powers to have her way. Your team captain used to play on a boy's team. What you're saying isn't news and also that I don't care. Brooklyn is a girl and she's gonna play. I love this man. Do me, coach. Do me right here on the desk. Also, good on this episode for also including a non-binary character to really show the spectrum of gender nonconformity. So before long, the coach goes full libs of TikTok and locks the whole team in the locker room, and they have to solve the puzzles in order to get out. After they go through several challenges, they find themselves still stuck inside, as Coach Karen constantly rigs the rules against them. Brooklyn has a moment where she breaks down and thinks she's the problem, and her very existence is wrong. So far from what I've seen at least, I believe this is the best showcase of what trans people go through and how hard it can be for them just to be themselves. And something made for kids at least. I think this scene is important, as I'm sure plenty of not just trans people, but LGBTQ plus people in general have felt something similar to this. You just want to live your lives and be yourselves, but all it takes is being shut down from something to make you think, am I the problem? But then, something beautiful happens. Brooklyn, you don't have to bottle this up and take it on all alone. It's just... how many doors? How many doors do I have to break through until they stop locking me out? Then let us support you the way you support us. I don't want to make my problems yours. I don't want to be a burden. We're here for you. Yeah, Brooke. Let us step up for you. Yeah, yeah. Brooke! We're here. See? Right there. Moments like this, th this is why I love cartoons. Soon, the girls realize how to get out. When the game is rated against you, break the whole game. Hell yeah, punk rock time, baby! The girls bust out, Karen McClucklux clan is put in her place, and Brooklyn and the captain of the other team shake hands, ready to play a game together. So, that's about it. Yeah. Nothing really shocking or controversial about this episode at all. It was honest, positive, and sends a good message about teamwork and sticking up for your friends. The only thing that I think really got this episode pulled from airing is because of the subject matter. Just trans people existing is enough for Disney to be cowardly and just pull it so as to not piss off the triggered MAGA crowd. We'd be seeing videos online of them shooting their TVs over it, I'm sure. Disney? I don't know if you realize this, but people who already hate you for making all your stuff woke are already not going to watch you. They're too busy watching the same three shows and movies on Daily Wire. So why are you bending the knee already when Tangerine Totalitarian hasn't even taken office yet? What are you afraid of? And look, we can argue about trans athletes in sports until we're blue in the face. But if you ask me, who the hell cares? There just isn't enough scientific evidence to back up that trans athletes have some kind of advantage over cisgendered ones. I also love how this topic only gets brought up about girl sports and never guy sports. I guess it helps sell your bigotry when you have to act like you're thinking of the poor, innocent girls who can't protect themselves and could get beaten up and hurt by a trans girl. Like, boy, spare me. I went to high school. Know how many girls I saw get in fights with each other? Trust me. 
Girls don't need to play sports to get their asses beaten by other girls. And also, sex as much? Let's play along with your logic for a second. So, if you believe trans girls are just men pretending to be women, and that gives them an advantage over girls, aren't you accidentally admitting that men are just better at sports by default? Am I going to win a race against a female Olympic sprinter just because I'm a man? Can I beat up a female UFC fighter just because I'm a man? I'm no athletic trainer, but I don't believe it works that way. Besides, banning trans athletes in certain sports is bound to backfire, like in the case of this trans male Texas wrestler, who, because of a stupid law in that state, was forced to be on the girls wrestling team despite being male. And of course, he mowed over all the female wrestlers. Hey, this is what y'all asked for, right? Couldn't put him on the boys team like normal, nope. Have to unapologetically stand by your intolerance. I just can't believe I went through school as a kid, learning the horrors of segregation and Jim Crow laws, only to become an adult and still deal with the same crap, just with different coats of paint. It was black people being held down by society back then, it was gay people and Muslims when I was growing up, and now as an adult, trans people are being scapegoated for society's problems. Well, them and immigrants. I just don't get it. And even when we make history, like Delaware electing the first trans woman to Congress, the screaming psycho of South Carolina, Nancy Mace, won't stop twinning about how this shouldn't be allowed, being very bigoted, and flat out whining that she's being attacked for sticking up for women's rights. Ahem. <clears throat> then why do you support a rapist then, bitch? Why are there so many people out there just bound to determine to be so frickin' hateful? How sheltered do you have to be that the mere acknowledgement of trans people is enough to drive you batshit insane? Honestly, just look at what transphobia did to people like Elon Musk. The guy was about ready to fly us to Mars 10 years ago. Now he's too busy being the first lady of the United States. And J.K. Rowling, has anybody seen her recently? Did she just vanish? Did she go live off on that island somewhere like I wanted her to? Look, folks, if you don't like transness so much, just don't transition. There. It's that easy. I grew up sheltered in the middle of butthole nowhere, Illinois, yet I was able to understand the concept of being transgender and accept people for who they are. What the hell is y'all's excuse? If you're a sports parent who constantly looks for excuses as to why your daughter's team is losing so much, maybe it's just the fact that they suck. Alright? Has nothing to do with trans people on the opposite team. Your girls just suck. Okay? Quit being sore losers and just play the game. That's all sports is about. Inclusivity. Developing friendships and teamworking skills, preparing kids how to work together with a group of several different voices and backgrounds. Quit pretending like winning is the only thing important in sports and start teaching your kids to just have fun and enjoy the game. Anyway, at the end of the day, Disney bending the knee to MAGA morons is just further proof that big corporations are not our friend. They're especially not friends of minority groups they attempt to cater to. Don't get me wrong, I love seeing more diversity in art, seeing people from all walks of life contribute to their own creations to the world, letting their voices be heard, and telling us their experiences. But when a corporation sees us more as wallets to sell shit to and not as people, that doesn't benefit anybody. All it does is prove they only hop on trends for monetary gain, and when they feel a certain group is no longer profitable for them, they're fresh pavement for the bus coming by. Disney, you're the biggest company in the world. You can afford to waste $300 million on Indiana Jones. What do you have to lose by just airing an episode of a trans character? You obeyed in advance, Disney. You showed your true colors. As a longtime fan, I feel heartbroken. I grew up on your movies and shows. You helped inspire me to follow my dreams. And that if I work hard and treat everyone with respect, I can be successful doing what I love. Clearly, y'all don't follow your own lessons. And all the queer men and women who helped create your stories and characters and make you the juggernaut you are probably feel betrayed too. In the political climate we find ourselves in, you had the opportunity to be a trendsetter and make a statement. A sign of solidarity with a group of people who feel more vulnerable than ever. And you decided to lick the boot. Shame on you, Disney. What's next? Banning Owl House because of the same-sex relationship? Hell, might as well remove the warnings about stereotypes in your old movies, because clearly your minds are still stuck in the 1900s. You're lucky you have every Simpsons episode, Disney. Otherwise, I'd have taken my Disney Plus subscription and wiped my ass with it. With that out of the way, watch Moon Girl. Support this amazing show made by amazing people. Tell your queer and trans friends how much you love them. Stick by them. Be there for them. 
In these high tension times, we need love and acceptance to combat anger and hatred more than ever. I'm Ben, and I'm gonna drive around blessing dead candies out of my car.